Hello and welcome to Town Talk. I'm your host, Rose Highlander Sharp. This very inspirational program is brought to you by Highland Communications for storytelling and much more. Call 910-514-1564. And the Wills to Work program. Give your tax-deductible donation of a car or cash by calling 910-944-7149. Give cars that work to people that work. Today you will see an interview with my co-worker Brenda Holmes at Sand Hills Community College's Hoke Center in the Rayford area. We're talking about the college and career readiness free classes. That's right, free classes through Sand Hills Community College's College and Career Readiness Program. Brenda's got some great information to share with you. And of course, we're encouraging you, you and you to get that education, start that career over, move on with your education, and you can use a springboard, of course, of math and reading review, or get your high school equivalency credential. At the end of the program, you're going to see Roderick Brower and Together in Unity with some great music, and I'm going to do just a little bit of storytelling for you. Enjoy the show! Okay, folks, I'm here with Brenda Holmes in Rayford, North Carolina, on the grounds of the Hoke Center of Sand Hills Community College. Brenda, how are you today? I'm doing fine, Rose. How are you? I'm just wonderful, and I'm so happy to be here as we're kicking off the month of August, going into the fall semester 2014, and we're talking about the college and career readiness classes. Brenda, tell us what you do here at Hoke Center in Rayford. Well, I'm a recruiter here at the Hoke Center in Rayford, North Carolina, and I'm also uh, participating in the Sis Tammy Manor with the um, orientation and assessment test, which is offered every first and third Friday morning at 8.30, and every second and fourth Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Wonderful. And as a recruiter, now you, you do assessment, you do orientation, but like me, we go out a lot. And where are some of the places that people can find you? Well, I'm all over the place, Rose, but um, there are certain locations that I um, go to every week, which is the um, Hope DSS Social Service Department, the Health Department, uh, the um, Employment Security Commission, uh, the library, um, and um, I distribute information at all daycares, uh, quick stops, wow. laundromats. <laughs> um, I'm just all over the place. Out in the rural areas, you know, in these little general stores that are placed, fire departments, I'm everywhere. Yes, ma'am. And we know that you're at many events. Oh, yes. And that might include uh, the Turkey Festival, right? Yes. That's one of the biggest festivals that Hope County offers here. Um, and also, um, we have other festivals that take place um, here in the county, mm -hmm. like through and by the health department um, and the schools. During the fall, they offer a lot of fall festivals, you know. So that's a chance for me to get out and, you know, meet the parents and see, you know, perspective. Um, like I said, I'm all over the place. And we do appreciate you. And uh, Brenda, while we're speaking, give everybody a phone number where they can reach you at the Hoke Center. I can be reached at 910-878-5808, or you can contact Tammy Maynard at 910-875-8589. And speaking of Tammy Maynard, she's not going to be able to be on the show today, but Tammy works with the Adult High School Program. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, Tammy Maynard, she's the coordinator of the High School Equivalency and um, of the um, adult, high school, uh -huh. yeah, adult High School Program. Uh, and it's like I said, you can uh, either call her or either she takes you off hands, um, just call and set up an appointment with her. And she helps me out a lot with recruitment as well when we had the festivals going on and the back to school um, conference and everything. She really helps out with that and, um, and I appreciate that. You know, Tammy me out that. So, so again, she's all over the county as well. Yes, indeed. All right, and the location of the uh, Hoke Center of Sand Hills Community College, this is uh, part of the Upchurch building, and what are the other buildings? It's Johnson Hall. Mm -hmm. We're located on 1110 East Central Avenue, and that's uh, on the old 401 bypass, uh, located where the old Turkey House of Rayford Plant used to be located. You can't miss us. Can't miss you. All right. 
and there is the radio station around the corner there, the local radio station that plays gospel music and whatnot. Brenda, a lot of folks have gotten a bit confused since the PUSH 2013 of uh, the GED test, which we're now calling the program High School Equivalency Credential. Some people are thinking like the test is so hard or it's so expensive or they got to pay money to come back. What's the truth about the matter? No, they don't have to pay money at all. That, like I said, they can either call me or Tammy and we can just set up an appointment for them, for them to come in and take the placement test. And the purpose of that placement test is to see where you're at. So we'll know where to, you know, place the student. But that's free. You don't pay anything to come in to take the placement test. The only time when the student pays is when they get ready to take the official high school equivalency test, which that's $20 per test. Absolutely, absolutely. We do know that there are other area community colleges, but we certainly hope people who are in the vicinity, you're in uh, Rayford, you're in Hope County, uh, you're in Moore County, because folks watching this program, of course, in the Moore County area, we have folks who are in uh, perhaps the Cameron Village area or mm -hmm. Aberdeen or Pine Bluff, and they may want to come here for some of their classes or somewhere nearby. Right. Certainly those in the Moore County area. So we want to put that bug in the ear for those who are viewing the program today by way of the local TV station and by way of Internet. If you're somewhere near Rayford or Hope County and you may not actually be in this county, you might want to come out and check out these classes. How about that? They are we have classes everywhere. Is that right, Brenda? Yeah, we, well, the only, we have classes here right now at the Upchurch Hall. And we also offer the, um, the high school equivalency online as well. Oh, but yeah. We first would um, um, have them to take the placement test so we can see if they uh, qualify to take it online. Yes, indeed. So we uh, offer, of course, that option online learning. That is so awesome. So there's no excuse, no folks. Excuse. Is that right? <laughs> Brenda, you, you've been around for quite some years, and uh, I know you're going to be making your, your exit in the near future. We're certainly going to miss you, but hope you're still going to be around. That said, you also do some motivational speaking. You go out to the local churches, uh, community centers. Uh, you've gone in the classroom, and you have shared your story. And I, I know you finished high school, but you went to college a little bit, little bit later than the average adult student. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I did, Rose. Um, like I said, I normally, uh, when asked, um, I normally do go out and do presentation at, uh, like at um, Head Start. Um, uh, they um, normally call me to go there and do presentation, and I've been invited to a lot of churches as well, um, doing presentation, you know, uh, spreading the, you know, the good word about the high school equivalency program. And I, when I'm, when, when I'm out and about, like in the community, and and um, and when I, a lot of students, you know, recognize me and they just want to start a conversation with me. And I just take them back to when I started, you know, um, to get my degree and everything. And I just, you know, let them know it's not too late mm -hmm. to go back. Um, it was a struggle, but, you know, I did it. Mm. I graduated from Shaw University. All and, right. <laughs> and like you said, yeah, it was late, but I did it. And <laughs> so that's the message that I get out across to them. It's never too late. Yes, indeed. We, we have folks who think they're just too old. Yeah. They've raised their children, maybe grandchildren. But I say to those folks who are watching today, maybe this is your time. This is your moment to make that decision to come back to school, get the high school equivalency diploma, or refresh in your reading and math. And Brenda, some people don't understand that, that our classes for college and career readiness, which we used to call basic skills, that you can come back for a reading and math review. Yeah. Want to talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, they can also do that because normally I have a lot of people calling and they'll, you know, inform me that, well, I've finished school, but um, I want to continue my education, but right now I just don't think I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So I would just like to come in and see if I could brush up on my math or my reading skills or my writing skills. And I, you know, uh, let them know that they can just come in and, you know, sign up and just come on in for the orientation and the assessment. Mm -hmm. And we can just get them started in the classroom. And the instructors here, they are awesome. I mean, and they just, you know, like work with the students and, um, and they, you know, work with them individually to, mm -hmm. you know, help them to succeed their goals. So I really get that out there to a lot of people that call in inquiring about, you know, the review and brushing up on certain, you know, classes and everything. 
Absolutely. There are people who are going to be career changers, job seekers. They finish high school, but they need to brush up and be prepared for a placement test or prepared for another job. Now, there's a really good program that uh, we have in Moore County and Hope County. It's Basic Skills Plus. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Basic Skills Plus, uh, that's the program that Tawana McKnight, I think she's uh, the coordinator of that program. She started it, and now it's Karen Decatur is Karen running Decatur. it now. Yes, okay, indeed. So I just tell everybody that is inquiring about that just to get in contact. Um, they call here inquiring about it at um, in Rayford. Um, I tell them that they can't get up with Karen Decatur just to get in contact with Tawana McKnight, and she can give them more details about the Basic Skills Plus. So that means a person can earn their high school equivalency and nurse aid one certification at the same time That's right. and it's paid for That's right. absolutely paid for you can't beat that uh, and again that's Karen Decatur I know her number 910-695-3779 and the number here at the Hulk Center 910-875-8589. Beautiful. Then there's a related program, and we do have a collaboration with St. Joseph's of the Pines with these programs. The um, personal care assistant that can lead to earning a nurse aid one and so forth, Jenny Troyer and Vanessa Galloway working with those programs. And I know we do have it uh, at the Moore County campus and also here in Hope County. That also, for those who are eligible, it is paid for. So if you already have a high school diploma, but you want to become a personal care assistant or a nurse aide one, here's another opportunity, paid for, if you're eligible, usually for those who've been unemployed or underemployed. Brenda, I tell you, we're certainly going to be missing you, but you know, you've got uh, a few more months to go, and uh, some exciting things are going to be happening. But we want people to call. People have stayed away. They got a little afraid frightened when the test changed over. Some people had almost reached the point where they were completing, but they did not. So we said, yeah, you got to start over. But the test is not that bad. So don't we want to urge people to come back and work on their high school equivalency diploma? Yes, I encourage everyone when I'm out recruiting and um, even even when I'm not working and we have a, I have a lot of people who run <laughs> into me when I'm at the store mm -hmm. or whatever. And I encourage them, it's, like I said, it's never too late. Mm -hmm. So I just encourage them to give me a call or to give uh, Miss Maynard a call and just so they can come on in and sign up so we can get them started. Absolutely. It's, it's not too late. And um, something else I want to mention, too, for the job seekers. And some people have to have that uh, work keys where you go to a class, I think from Monday through Friday from about 8 to noon. And Robbie Schultz, is that correct here? Yeah, that's correct. She's teaching at the Hoke uh, Center. So those who are looking for a job or you want to work at a place like, say, Campbell Soups, you have to go through that training as part of your application process. So again, give the phone number, and that's a free class. And you're learning computer skills and whatnot. Tell, give everybody that phone number again. And that number is 910-875-8589. And that's the pre-employment program run, that is run through our continuing education's uh, career development program. And we also offer something similar in Moore County. We got a lot of free or low cost. There's no excuse. Is that right? No, right. I, so many excuses. There's no excuse. Also, I understand that uh, Laura Todd is running several free computer classes. And I know we have them in Moore County, and the young lady was telling me today, Diane, that we may have some of those here at the Hoke Center. So we have a few of those uh, technology training classes, the computer classes, that are offered at no cost. So again, what's the phone number? That number is 910-875-8589. All right. So we have so many wonderful opportunities. We're so thankful to, uh, again, we did mention Tawana McKnight, who is currently the director of the Hoke Center. That's right. And listen, when people need their um, transcript information or if they are a minor, uh, understand now they need to go through Anna McFadder right. at the Pinehurst campus, and she'll get you straightened out with that. Her number, 910-695-3777 wanted to throw that in. And also for folks who want to call for classes and for the assessment orientation in Moore County, Mike Andrews, whose number is 
3998. We're giving a lot of information here, Brenda, and it's truly right. awesome, truly awesome. Yes, indeed. So, Miss Brenda, I'm, I'm going to ask you this now. You're going to be out and about. People will see you in the grocery store. They will stop and talk. And you will take time with them, and right? I will take time and talk to them the straight of day. I, I, I normally have a bag with all the information, you know, on me. <laughs> but when they stop and they get to asking questions, uh -huh. I always have some literature on hand that I can pass out and hand out and give to them. And you are available to come to somebody's church, uh, yes. community, civic group meeting, event? Yes, that's correct. Even, I know both of us, even sometimes on a Saturday, mm -hmm. oftentimes, and maybe on a Sunday. So I'll get ready to come on a Sunday, too. <laughs> and what do we say about recruiters? We are, let's see, 24-7, 365. We're on all the time, and we want to give a clarion call to our fellow instructors that they also have an opportunity to recruit by basically inviting us to their class, inviting their students to bring a friend. Mm -hmm. Remember we used to do that? That's right. Bring a friend to class. And if anybody has any ideas, they want us to come out, we're ready, willing, and able to come out, set up a table, talk to your group, and encourage those youngsters, the parents, to come back to school. Now, Brenda, what are you going to do with yourself when you retire? I understand you're going to be riding motorcycles? Well, well I don't know <laughs> how to ride a motorcycle. No, drive a motorcycle. Okay. So, Right now, I don't know. I'm probably just going to take it easy for a while. Yes, indeed. You, you've been in management uh, and retail, I understand, years ago. Oh, yes. uh, you have a son and a wonderful granddaughter. You have a large family, siblings yes. and lots of nieces and nephews. And where's your hometown? I'm originally uh, from Clinton, North Carolina. All right. Sampson County. Yes, and the Sampson County girl. Yes. All <laughs> right. <laughs> But you actually live in another major city. Yes, I live in Fayetteville, North Carolina. All right. So there's some, some wonderful things happening there. Oh, and you're yes. traveling here. And I thank you for coming up to Moore County. Yes. The time should come to help me out. And then you're going to show me some of the ropes down here. Okay. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that rope. See what we need to do. <laughs> but we, we certainly hope you're going to be coming back around and giving some more of your time. When, when you get relaxed and learn how to ride or drive that motorcycle, uh, we're going to look forward to seeing you again. Once again, Brenda, there's somebody that's watching today that probably has been uh, hurt in school, meaning emotionally. They've waited many years. They're still looking for a job. They may be a, a, a young person that's of 18 years of age or in their 30s uh, or past 50. What would you tell that person watching today? I would tell that person, uh, like I've often said, it is never too late. It was never too late for me, you know, so just pick up the phone and just call. Call Brenda Holmes, 910-878-5808, or you can call Tammy Manor at 910-875-8589, and we will get you started in your high school equipment. I love that. Yes, indeed. So thank you so much for your time today here on the beautiful grounds of Sand Hills Community College's Hoax Center. It is a lovely day in Rayford, and we certainly do appreciate you being on Town Talk today. Thank you. Take care, my dear. Mm -hmm. All right. We certainly hope you enjoyed the interview with Brenda Holmes, my co-worker who's a recruiter for College and Career Readiness at the Hoax Center in Rayford, North Carolina, in that area of Hoax County for Sand Hills Community College. Of course, I'm Rose Highland Sharp, recruiter, as well as host of this program. And of course, I recruit for the College and Career Readiness Program. And we want to give kudos to our director, Lucinda Cole, and of course, our dean and president of our community college as well, and all the other staff, amen, and all those who work in week. Just thank the Lord for each one of them. Now, I'm going to do just a little bit of storytelling before we close out with Roderick Brower and Together in Unity. And it goes like this. You know, I'm thinking about you all are going some places with your education. So check this out by Dr. Seuss. And I'm just lifting parts of this to read for today. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet 
in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your way, I say you're on your own, you're on and on your way. And you know what you know when you are the guy who will decide where you want to go and the lady too. <laughs> You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care about some. You'll say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down in a not so good street and you may not find any who'll want to go down in that case of course you'll head straight out of town get to going <laughs> all the places you'll go say that with me all the places you'll go you'll be on your way you'll be seeing great sights you'll join the high flyers you'll soar to high heights you won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. Oh, yes, you'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true, and the hangups can happen. Mm, to you. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then you'll probably be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun on unslumping yourself. It's not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked, so windows are lighted but mostly they're dark. A place that you can sprain both your elbow and your chin so you dare to stay out. Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or should you turn right or right and three quarters or maybe not quite or go around and back and sneak in from behind? Simple as not. I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker up to make up your mind. You can get so confused that you're starting a race down long wiggly roads at a breaking neck, break neck and pace and grind for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place for people just waiting, waiting for a train, choo choo choo, or a bus to come by, a plane, shh, or mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone, the ring, 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 or the snow, the snow, or waiting around for a yes, uh, uh, no. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig and curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. Oh yeah, oh the places you'll go. Say that y'all, oh the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games that uh, you can't win because you'll play against you all alone whether you like it or not alone will be something you'll be quite a lot and when you're alone there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants and there are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on just don't want to go on and on you will hike and i know you'll hike for the face to your problems, whatever they are. Yes, you will. You'll get mixed up, of course. Ooh, as you always know, you'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step, step with care and great tack and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deaf and never mix up your right foot or with your left. And will you succeed? Oh yes, yes you will indeed, 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, child, lady, man, oh let me tell you something, you will move mountains. So be your name Buxpam or Bixby or Bray, Mordecai, Alley, and Allen, O'Shea, Jones, Williams, Johnson, Woo, Brown, or whatever it might be, you're off to great places and you will see today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. All the places you'll go, all the places you'll go, so get on your way.
<laughs> I love that. And all the children, I know they love that too. Folks, I'm Rose Highland Sharp, the host of Town Talk. And remember, honey, when you feel like everything's not going right, <laughs> remember, you already got it inside of you to make things happen. And if you're walking the walk, you'll be on Town Talk too. Take care. Stay tuned now for music with Roderick Brower and Together in Unity. Enjoy. Thank you.